the Los Angeles Lakers are officially back in the NBA Finals and they're waiting patiently to see if they're going up against the Boston Celtics or the Miami Heat. Now the storylines are all there with the Celtics, this storied rivalry continues with their 13th meeting in the NBA Finals. The young Boston Celtics team would also have an opportunity to get the revenge on LeBron James who, if you guys recall, was the very same guy who knocked him out cold in Game 7 just two short years ago with the Cleveland Cavaliers. However, on Inside the NBA, Shaq said something pretty interesting in my opinion. According to his sources, who he didn't bother naming, the Lakers want the heat. He didn't say why, of course, but I I think I know why. Despite my feelings that the heat are a pretty bad matchup, or at least the worst matchup for the Lakers than the Celtics. And here's why. Number one, Pat Riley. Now, in LeBron's return season to Cleveland in 2014 and 2015, he kept bringing up secret motivation for winning a championship. But he wouldn't tell us what that meant. He kept saying they'd tell us after he won a title for the Cavaliers. But so we had to wait a couple of years. But lo and behold, after one blown 3 1 series lead by the Warriors, that secret motivation turned out to be Pat Riley. Now, granted, LeBron didn't name Pat Riley, he didn't name any names, but it seemed pretty obvious. He basically said when he was leaving the Miami Heat, someone in the organization told him that he was making the biggest mistake of his career. Now, this is some juicy shit right there. What is a better way for LeBron to stick it to that very same person, whoever it was, by saying big mistake my ass than by beating that very same person in that very same organization for a championship? That seems to me to be the biggest reason why. It's LeBron versus Pat Riley, people. Number two, Andre Iguodala and Jimmy Butler. Now, I understand Iggy is kind of washed nowadays. Uh, Butler, he's a guy who LeBron has gone up against in the playoffs in fiercely competitive games, but he's always beaten Jimmy Butler. But you think about it, I think LeBron is pissed off at Andre Iguodala. Andre Iguodala has been a thorn in the side, beating LeBron's teams in finals three out of four times. Sure, he's had a little help here and there, um, but he's played some annoying defense on him as well. He won a finals MVP at LeBron's expense. This is a way for LeBron to try and get even with Iggy in some way and further establish his postseason dominance over Jimmy G. Buckets. Number three, it's a pretty funny reason. You might laugh at me, but I think it's true. Dion Waiters is salty as hell. Listen, it wasn't like Dion was a model player for the Heat. The Heat tried to trade him multiple times, and he ended up getting suspended multiple times this very season. Uh, one of them for an incident involving gummy bears before he was traded to the Grizzlies for, let's be honest, a bag of peanuts. And then he was waived and then picked up by the Lakers. Now, even though Dion is again any playing time this postseason, he probably won't get any playing time in the finals. One thing we know about championship teams or contending teams is that they play for each other no matter who is playing. This is just an added motivation. And finally, number four, the Lakers just have something to prove. Now, I'm sure the Lakers were frothing at the mouth, salivating at the chance to play either the Bucks or the Clippers in the finals. These guys were out to prove something this year, and they wanted to be the best of the best. Now, the Nuggets took that opportunity away from them, so they locked in to try and take out the team that took out the favorites to win it all. Now, people are sleeping on the Heat, but that doesn't mean this team isn't dangerous. This Heat team made quick work of the number one seed in the NBA and is about to knock out the Celtics, who were favored over the Heat. They're about to take them out in six games. The Lakers know that. They know they're dangerous. They're not taking the Heat lightly. I guarantee you that. They're out to prove that it doesn't matter who is going to be thrown their way, whether it's the Clippers or the Bucks or the Blazers or the Rockets or whoever. They were simply going to be the better team. So those are just a few of the reasons why I think the Lakers want to play the Miami Heat. Of course, this is all assuming that Shaq isn't lying about everything. But either way, I think we're in for a hell of a final series. I think either series, whether it's against the Celtics or the Heat, is going to go at least six games. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And if you disagree with anything that I said, let's have a discussion. Um, if you liked 
the video, please drop a like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.